What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker review. And today we're talking about the MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory. Puma, in collaboration with Warner Brothers, Discovery Global Consumer Products unveils the much anticipated MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory, the newest addition to LaMelo Ball's signature MBO3 line. This MBO3 drops elevates 90s nostalgia, teaming up with Cartoon Network's beloved Dexter's Laboratory. The cartoon inspired silhouette boasts a bold graphic and die glow details inspired by the iconic boy genius. Packed with Puma's signature nitro foam for on-court power, the MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory features a non-slip rubber compound for durability and traction. Of course, you got the breathable mono mesh upper to ensure the ultra supportive and lightweight fit. In addition to the MBO3 colorway, Puma introduces an elevated piece apparel collection. This lineup includes a dime jacket, pants, hoodie, shorts, and graphic tees that are all inspired by the 90s nostalgia. This Puma MBO3 drops December 22nd for a retail price of 125 bucks and by far is one of the best colorways in my opinion. These come in multicolor, black and white as the color scheme, and these are definitely eye-catching, head-turning, and truly one of the best colorways of the MBO3 so far. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Now this Dexter's Laboratory is truly special. To be honest, this is truly one of the best colorways, if not the best colorway so far of the MBO3 very vibrant and light it catches your eye no matter what lighting you're in it's a head turner definitely a conversation starter in the collaboration with the dexter's laboratory that cartoon let me know if you guys were a fan of that cartoon if you guys check it out or not me personally not so much but this right here just caught my eye i love the black outsole of course they all have the rare on them you'll see that on both r-a-r-e that's pretty much on all the lamellos the also rubber kind of comes over to the midsole like you see on the mellows very reminiscent of Kyrie shoes as well i mean this colorway looks like a trip looks like somebody who might be tripping on some some good stuff you know what i mean all these colors may be even confusing however there is a lot of detail to this shoe if you look a little closer to it and this lacing is very interesting as well maybe we need to do a lace tutorial on this shoe because it just laces up a little different than you see than you see most other basketball shoes out there. But once you lace these up, they're fully secure. They go all the way up to where your ankle or to the top of your ankle. And there is some good cushioning when it comes to the um, around the sock liner and your Achilles support. Definitely not so much of a bulky, heavy shoe, more of a sleek feel. They are pretty snug. I did try them on and wore them. You know, I didn't break them in. I was able to go to the size. And they felt fine for me. Pumas usually are true to size fit. I have more of a narrow foot, so just keep that in mind. If you have the opportunity, uh, try on a pair just so you know exactly what size for you works. But to me personally, true to size fit definitely worked on these. The traction pattern on the outsole, it does have that rare, but the traction pattern is very aggressive and pretty durable. I'm pretty sure that these can hold up on outdoor courts very well. However, it is a signature shoe for a signature athlete who does hoop on hardwood floors. So you definitely will get the most bang for your buck in the last form if you do wear them on indoor courts as opposed to outdoors. But by the looking for the outsole, it does have some meat on there. Uh, these shouldn't burn out too crazy for you if you did decide to hoop on outdoor courts. The whole upper is like a black and white wavy design, but then you have that overlay of like a rainbow, or I don't even know how to really describe this. This is a very unique basketball shoe one of the highlights for me is the midsole as well how it's black with speckled blue all around it that nitro foam that they have is definitely some good cushioning on this shoe uh so there is comfort there is good technology puma's nitro foam is definitely one of the best things out there i'm loving everything about this shoe though on the more personal side of it just the details you got the mbo one right here with a laces start here's the shoe unlaced just to tell you or show you guys what it's looking like you got lacing right here then it goes all the way to the sides of the shoe as opposed to staying right where the eyelids usually are so the lacing on this thing is definitely different and unique but once i like i said once you lace them up you're definitely locked down when it comes to these laces because of this lacing system which i do like about it you do receive a extra set of laces in this little white baggie <laughs> reminds me of some other stuff i mean all this all this wild colors and then the packaging for the laces kind of reminds me of 
some other stuff going on, but these are about basketball shoes. Here are the extra laces. It's like this pink colorway. I imagine it bounces off pretty good. Uh, we will go ahead and do a lace swap on, you know, lace swap on this just to see what they look like. And let me know which laces would you guys prefer in this shoe. The black and white ones, you guys can see that. The black and white ones or these pink ones. We'll definitely lace them up and show you guys what's up with that. I'll do a lace video on this one as well, just in case people might be confused. But it's kind of self-explanatory, but then again, you just never know. Everybody needs help with something different. And maybe that might be a video for you. So stay tuned for the lace tutorial on this MBO3. On the back of the tongue, you guys can see Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory right there. I just love the whole insole or the whole sock liner and all of this wavy black and white, almost look like hypnosis, like you're being hypnotized, if you will. On the other shoe, you have the girl from Dexter's Laboratory right there. So there's just a lot of different things, man. A lot of dope details on this shoe. On the lace area, you got the Mellow logo, that MBO one Wings logo right there with some stuff that Dexter used. Definitely some really dope details, intricate details to Dexter's Laboratory and Lamella Ball. I mean, these are just truly one of a kind and that's why I'm keeping these for my collection for sure. $125, not too bad. Maybe this shoe will go on sale, maybe it won't. It's definitely by far one of the most vibrant, popular, wild colorways that Lamella has done when it comes to all of his signature lines from the MBO 1, 2, and now the 3. Everything about this shoe just screams different, you know, or as it says on the bottom of the shoe, rare. Everything about this shoe is truly rare. You do have some breathability on the upper where these claw marks are that represents like the mesh where you can kind of get some breathability for it. But then again, I look at it, it doesn't look like there's any real preparations. On other colorways, when you see these scratch marks, you can see mesh up under it that has preparations to let you know that there's some breathable, some breathability to this shoe. Uh, not really seeing that too much here. That material is rather thick and it's like double layered, obviously, because the black and white is the base. And then they have this whole colorful, the whole colorful overlay upper um, over that rather, you know, so I don't see a lot of breathability on this, but I would assume there is some because it is a hooping shoe. I mean, you need breathability for hooping, right? Back of the shoe, you got the um, Puma, Mellow and Dexter's Laboratory branding. This is on the back of both the shoes. Then if you can see on the toe area, it says not from here. A lot of dope, intricate details, as I said before. I like this colorway, man. 10 out of 10 to me. Uh, the fact that it is so different and just eye-catching. It's hard to not look at this shoe if you see it on feet. It's like, what are those? And then you look at it like, wow, LaMelo's really doing his thing. The one logo for his number that he wears right there on this first eyelid. These are definitely fire. I think, um, I mean, that's something I would say a lot. <laughs> A lot in this video that these shoes are fire because they truly are just give you my honest true opinion you can see with the insoles you got the mellow logo right there same thing on, on the uh on the other shoe but it comes in a different colorway which i will show you guys in the b-roll so you guys can understand on the back heel you also got the one of one engraved in the uh midsole outsole which i think is a dope touch a lot of details a lot of little hidden gems you guys can find if you break this shoe down and take it apart so we're going to actually go ahead and get onto the on feet and let me know what you guys are thinking plus give me your thoughts about the lace color are you guys going with the black and white laces or those pink laces comment down below hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video so i know to do more of these sneaker reviews and then also give me your thoughts on the lace tutorial if it helps you out of course let me know in the comments so i can continue to do that because they are self-explanatory, but then again, they are difficult. And you can use the other shoe to give you a point of reference. But in case you don't want to go through all that, just go ahead and check out my video. On the eyelids, you have this blue mark right here. I'm not sure what this is from, but this goes over the eyelids. If you guys have more information on that, let me know, because I did not watch Dexter's Laboratory. I feel like that might have something to do with the shoe, of course, the, around the toe area. You got the Puma logo right there. Too many dope details. The Nitro Foam is definitely on point with the shoe. 10 out of 10, as I said before, early in the video, give me your thoughts about these in the comments below. Uh, which lace option are you going for more? So now we got the pink laces in the MBO3. Let me know which option are you guys going with in the comments below. You guys going, keeping it, you guys keeping it with the pink laces. It does give some, some extra charisma to the shoe. I feel like you can't really see the pink laces. I feel like these pink laces are kind of hidden in the shoe because there's so much pink and colorfulness going on on the upper. 
even though this is the alternate option i feel like the pink does stand out slightly but it also kind of blends in to me personally i think i do like the option with the black laces which it came with maybe go on one black one blue or one black one pink might be a good option to go with if you're somebody out there who likes lace swapping these things is fired or nonetheless either lace you go with these are definitely on point but let's go ahead and check these things out on feet and let me know what you guys think in the comments below which lace option you going with what do you guys think about the mb03 overall and what do you think about this dexter's laboratory colorway man truly one of the best if not the best so far i know some people might be thrown off because it is so colorful but i mean it's just dope man very eye-catching fits lamella ball style giving me Kyrie Irving Nike vibes. I mean, that's something that's dear to my heart when it comes to the sneakers. I believe Kyrie and Nike did something great that no other signature athlete has done. Maybe Kobe. Some people, of course, Jordan. Jordan's the standard. But as far as like people still currently playing in the league, Kyrie and Nike had the best thing going on and LaMelo's trying to take that torch. If you guys know another signature line out there that's uh, doing what Melo's doing, go ahead and comment that below. And what is your favorite signature line overall? So now that we're done with the on feet and everything with these MBO3s, Dexter Laboratories, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you check out these videos here. Leave me your feedback and I'll see you in those videos. Have a great day wherever you are in the universe. Deuces. These are crazy, bro.